What's going on guys? Eric Default, Keller Williams, Cape Cod and Islands, uh, local realtor here on Cape Cod. Today in this video, not talking real estate, talking about one of my other passions, talking about breakfast. Uh, me and Carolina, we went out this weekend, had a real good breakfast, nice little hidden gem that we found. I definitely want to share that with you guys. Uh, one thing about Cape Cod, there is no lack of great breakfast places. Um, everywhere you go is kind of packed every now and then. I'm going to share with you five can't miss spots um, from all different spots on Cape Cod. Um, if I don't mention a place, feel free to comment down below. Let me know what one of your favorites is. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to give you five can't miss spots in this video. Um, number one, I grew up in the town of Sandwich. Um, one of the favorites for everyone there is the marshland down on Cape Cod. Um, just, you know, exactly what you want. Nice little breakfast joint. Always good people um, working in there. If you want breakfast and sandwich, everyone goes to the marshland. Definitely, definitely worth checking out. Uh, next one, in Hyannis. Ton of great breakfast places in Hyannis, but this one's kind of a hidden gem. It's a little off the beaten path. A uh, common thing that happens, you go out and you want to go get breakfast. You go to a bunch of different spots. The lines are out the door. Um, the Spoon and Seed, it's up in kind of the industrial park, up, you know, you go past Home Depot, up in that area. Spoon and Seed, it's unique. They've got cool, like, unique um, menu items. Uh, they're pretty creative with their menu, good people in there. But if you're looking for a nice little hidden gem in Hyannis, highly, highly recommend the Spoon and Seed. Uh, we live in Katuit. Our go-to place that's super close is in Marston's Mills. It's the Fig Tree Cafe. Uh, you go in there, a lot of homemade stuff, kind of unique feel, nice little vibe in there. Um, as far as Marston's Mills go, Fig Tree Cafe, right there kind of in the little village area. Very, very, very good. Um, next, over in Falmouth, and I used to get the name wrong in this, which is kind of embarrassed, but it's uh, Munichus Cafe. It's right on 28, right as you cross over from Mashby into Falmouth. It's right there on 28, Munichus Cafe. We used to call it Munakis. I feel embarrassed that I even say that, but Munichus Cafe, if you want breakfast in Falmouth, one of the better places there. Um, lastly, the spot that I went this weekend, definitely want to share with you guys, and um, I hate to say it's not even on Cape Cod, but definitely worth the trip if you want to go to kind of downtown Wareham there's the Riverview Cafe one of the best breakfasts you can find all around it's worth the trip worth kind of heading out there uh, it's real cool you go in it's like a hometown feel it's almost like you're kind of back in time uh, the owner's real cool there he's very kind of jovial he interacts with the customers it's part of the charm there but Riverview Cafe probably my favorite breakfast place uh, located in Wareham uh, I know I left a lot of places off the list here but if you guys have certain places you want to highlight definitely go down i'm happy to go and try them out i've probably tried them out before but yeah those are five spots some of my favorite breakfasts all around cape cod um yeah that's about it hope you guys found the video helpful and um yeah go enjoy